Hey, you might think I'm the dumbest person on planet Earth, but check this out. So there's Nixon, he's got a smile on his face, just like all the presidents and people that are, they always seem to be smiling, no matter if we're at war or not. I mean, but check this out. Forces to become a belligerent. The operation had to be kept a total secret. Okay, so they had to keep it a secret. It lasted for 14 months. 14 months, kept and it a secret. The was to plunge Cambodia into a nightmare future. Hmm. Human beings being the slaughtered. The went to extraordinary lengths to keep the bombing secret. Oh, the, the White House, back in the 60s, went to extraordinary lengths to keep things a secret. Oh. The Pentagon consistently claimed that the raids were over South Vietnam. Not even the pilots knew where every mission would take them, as the planes were guided onto targets by radar from South Vietnam's Bien Hoa Air Base. So, not even the pilots know what's going on. From where orders to release the payload also came. Any pilots who were aware of their objectives were ordered to alter their flight logs. So, pilots were told to lie. Hmm, have you ever heard of that before? By the time the first mission in Operation Menu took place, B-52 bombers were already flying missions from Thailand to unleash massive destruction on the communist Look at these guys. inside the Cambodian border with Vietnam. And their uniforms. Look like, they look like... On they the look like Nazis. March the 18th, 1969, 60 B-52s briefed for a mission in Vietnam look at that. were sent into the sky. Human beings being All slaughtered. the planes on the mission, dubbed Breakfast, as it had been conceived at a breakfast planning session in the Pentagon, were diverted to Cambodia. This raid was such See a how... success that over 4,000 more followed. Wow. With 120,000 tons of bombs turning the Viet Cong camps into raging infernos. Wow. Over 500,000 tons would eventually fall on the country before the campaign ended. Holy, how many civilians were killed? Once the bombing had started, U.S. and South Vietnamese ground troops moved towards the border and took part in large-scale incursions. In now, you see how they just, they, it seems that we're always put to war. So, with all this bombing going on, the question is, should we continue wars or should we not continue wars?